Welcome back to another one. Um, I'm out here working, uh, getting ready to work on a project. Uh, it's going to be a long, a uh, slow project or a long, brought long over time project. Um, it's not going to be probably working on a lot every day. Be a little bit here and there. I'll make a couple of smaller videos. This video will be a little bit longer, maybe 12 or 13 minutes or so. Uh, and the rest of them will probably be not quite a short video, but it'll probably be only five, six minutes long. A couple of pieces here and there as I work on it. Um, you'll see that throughout the video here, uh, here soon. And, but this, I, I've been wanting to do this this winter. It was one of my goals this winter was to get this in and, and start, start this project or to start working on it. Um, and it really just seemed like it kind of wasn't working out, but over the last couple of days, we we're pretty close to getting the garage finished cleaning out. So I got it to where the state I'm at now and cleaned up for this. Uh, part of this had to happen though, because I need... I need the room outside for another surprise uh, that will be here uh, about a week and a half to maybe two weeks. Uh, hopefully, be uh, bringing this something else home here. Two somethings, only one one something is going to be here. The other one's leaving shortly after it gets here. Just waiting on a trailer to pick it up. Uh, that'll be going to Southern Florida soon. I said it would hopefully be only here for maybe a week, or maybe a week after I bring it home. Uh, um, but I said I had to make room out outside for this, uh, and this is kind of got forced a little early, but I'm definitely wanted to get, get it done and start working on this. So, been working on uh, cleaning the garage up the last couple of days, getting it all cleaned out. Um, but in, I got two thirds of the garage actually cleaned up, put away. I got the, like a half a stall here that I got some stuff in here that heaters and stuff like that, the welders over here uh, that you have to do. But I said I got to mix up some, I got to mix up some uh, quail feed and that. And now that I got a couple tubs emptied out, I'm gonna, I'll have room to be able to mix that and be able to get rid of the bags of feed, bags of feed and stuff. And then like I said some of this stuff is just bigger, bulky things that would kind of get pushed up against the wall. But the table saw and stuff like that. Still got my insulation. Once I get the last little bit finished, eventually one of these days I'll finish it. Now that we we're gonna do it here a while back, but we had uh, too much water in the floor. Cars that kept leaking in here and everything else and it was a pain to try to do it. And the cold stint and everything else, so we never did get around to it, but it's coming up here hopefully. Before too long, we'll get out here and get that last little bit finished and then start putting plastic up and stuff. But, but I started cleaning this out and to make room for something I've been wanting to work on for quite some time, um, just really haven't had the time or the space to do it. Um, but we uh, moved the Rabbit in. It's a 1982 Volkswagen Rabbit. It's got a 1.6 diesel in it, non-turboed. Uh, figured it's time to start working on this thing and getting hopefully get it back up and running um i've done a lot to this over the years got new brakes on it um we've done a lot of brake lines on it i've got new tires obviously did wheel bearings all the way around um bunch of stuff like that all you know throughout it the its years a couple years ago we it's probably been about five or six i'd have to find the receipts and i'll, I'll make a video with, with some of that stuff here Eventually, some of that stuff will be in the video where I'm show some of the things we did it did do it. I'll get a pay, all the paperwork out when we rebuilt the engine. Um, because about it's been about three years, I think, or well, it's probably been four, four and a half. Maybe it's even been five years on that. I don't know. I guess I'll find the receipts and we'll see. But I rebuilt the the engine. The uh, it actually drove fine. It wasn't nothing wrong with it when we rebuilt it. Uh, the reason we end up rebuilding it or decided to rebuild it was. I drove it to work one day and uh, couldn't get it started and we had a pull start it got it started again and it turned out to be this fuel shut off it's got a 12 volt solenoid for a fuel cut off and it was sticking it was kind of sticking where it wouldn't open and close all the way if you pull start it with the 12 volts on there it would give it enough to it open it up and if you shut the key off it would shut off but it just wouldn't work quite 100 percent right when doing it uh, so I bought the new one. It was like seven bucks. Ordered it and got it delivered. wasn't too bad. Uh, took the plate and stuff off the top to get it out. It's kind of hard to get down in there to get it out. Um, 
finally got some they got a the socket or something I could fit on there that actually would work for it. I went to take it out and it broke off. It left the bottom part of the solenoid still in the, the cast piece on the uh, distribution block on the back of that pump. So then I pulled the whole pump out. I got a got a, got a nut extractor, bolt extractor type stuff or in that, and I finally did get that out of there and put the new one in. And I thought, oh, why well, it's all out. I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna check compression on it and, and do some maintenance and check the valve clearances and stuff like that. Get everything set and like go through the book and check all that stuff. Uh, checking compression, all the compression was good across across the uh all my valves my the uh i guess the valve clearances was good the shims were all right and then i said we checked the compression and they were all within spec across the board but the problem being was that the lowest number and the highest number were too far apart there's too big of a spread on them so it said it needed it but i thought well it still runs just fine now like i'm really i was just curious what it was at why we had a department check it and whatnot so we and i put everything back together and when putting it back together, I we end up I end up cracking a uh, the head, and I cracked the head by or the inject where the threads go for the injectors. There it's aluminum head, but when you screw those in, you have to torque them in a certain way, so that you're putting pressure back on the block, as opposed to on the opening of the thread because it's not very well, uh, it's not reinforced very well, and I end up cracking cracking the threads down. Talked about getting it welded and trying to figure out what we wanted to do and i thought you know, it really ain't worth it they say it works sometimes but most of the time it fails anyways so there it sat dead in the water couldn't do nothing all because i decided to check on it so then i decided that i was going to rebuild it looking into it how where to get everything done at how i was going to do it all got everything figured out got it rebuilt i ended up buying a new injection pump and got it put on uh with when i rebuilt it i turned my old i sent my old one in for a core and actually got a remanufactured one or a new one I, I think it was new i don't even know if it was remanufactured i'd have to find the paperwork on it but drove it for a while i think i had about a thousand miles on it and then i had a problem with the injection pump it actually took out run, run, run away and uh thought i actually ruined thought it was going to lock itself up it just over revved and just kept revving and wouldn't shut off and whatnot so i don't know if it was sucking oil if it was burning oil or if it was what was going on pretty soon it finally just smoked out and, and died i went out with the trailer got it loaded on a trailer got it winched up on the trailer brought it home uh hit the key checked the oil there was there was oil there's still oil in it uh but it was but it was actually smelled diesely there was it was over full but it was diesel. It smelled like diesel because there was a lot of fuel in there. And, but I hit the key and was ready to choke it off. Actually, I had a piece of stuff to put up there to choke it all off. And uh, it turned over. You could, everything turned over. I didn't try to start. I just bumped it once. It turned over. So, okay. So, got it off the trailer. I got it up, dragged it up, drained the oil, went through everything. Checked everything went through and checked the compression again. Everything was good compression still in, within reason I mean, it's not as good as it was after getting it rebuilt But it wasn't everything was still in spec on it and actually better than it was but prior to still like we're good and I believe It's the injection pump I'll make a video here. that will be the next video I put out if I'm gonna get it started I got to get a battery cable in put back on here and get the battery charged and put it in here and uh or make sure the battery's charged and i'll make a video of that hopefully and uh, while when i start that start working on this a little bit here in the next couple of days so it'll probably be next early next week maybe this weekend or monday or tuesday get that video posted probably yeah before i start tearing into it but instead i think it's that injection pump just haven't had time to do it and they said i called the company who bought it from and they would warranty it. I'd have to send it in. They'd have to go through it and check it to make sure that it was the pump and not something else. But the way they were acting just made me nervous. I really didn't trust them. I thought they were going to just tell me, oh, yeah, you send it in to us and we'll look at it. And then it's going to turn out to not be anything wrong with the pump. And they're going to send it back to me. But I got to char I got to pay diagnostic testing and everything else for it. And it ended up being like 
I think it was like nine hundred some dollars is what they want for it if I if it turns out to be nothing wrong with it. And I was not willing to pay another thousand almost thousand dollars plus shipping, I guess, with shipping and everything. So I had to pay it in to get it in. And I didn't want to do that and didn't want to get stuck with that bill because I said they just kind of sounded shady and didn't quite under and understand why all that was happening. Why wouldn't they just look at it? But and I couldn't take it to a local Bosch dealer here and have it checked out. And uh I had to send it to them. I said, we have a local actual authorized Bosch dealer that we could take it to, but they wouldn't warranty it if they'd looked at it. So, so they just didn't seem quite right. So I'd end up not doing anything with it at all. And now I've decided that it's time to do it. And I'm going to tear it apart myself and look into it and just hopefully I can find what's wrong with it and order the parts and put them, replace them and fix them the way they're supposed to be. But like I said, this is a 1982 Volkswagen rabbit it has the last confirmed number that I know that it had is 222,222 and two tenths of a mile I have a picture of it if I can get that picture still uh I think I can but I don't know if I can get it because it's on a way old phone and I don't know if I have it saved anywhere uh but since then I've had problems with the odometer so the odometer is kind of clicking and stuff and it skips numbers a lot so I really don't know what the numbers are that's on it, but my guess would be, I mean, it's easily 250,000. It's probably 260, maybe even. Um, like I said, I really don't know. There ain't nothing really wrong with this car. Uh, a little bit of rust. They don't make them like they used to because, okay, so this is a little bit of rust up in the wheel well here and down along the door. Yeah, but it's all... I mean, it's still solid. The car's still solid, but there is some rust starting to show. Up on the roof here, it's got a line down the center where it's kind of some surface rust. And that. But. Yeah, I so, said, and on this side, you got it clear coat pe peeling off being outside for most of its life uh interior however is falling apart uh the seats are definitely tore up a little bit um carpet is absolutely disgusting the headliner is gone the cardboard material is there but all of the actual fabric is long gone um and said but it's a solid car. I said we got a little bit of rust down here on the spot here, but all in all, in all, it's actually pretty solid. And so they just don't make them like they used to. So I said I'm gonna uh, get some of this stuff cleaned up and that. I said I got to get a battery cable in and the battery charged, and then I'll uh, start working on that. I won't work on that for a couple days because or until Friday, I guess, because um, I got to get those battery cable. In. I don't have one. I'll have to get one tomorrow and so but I probably won't be able to work on this till Friday so I said I'll hopefully get that I might get that video posted this weekend but otherwise early next week but thanks for watching and I hope to see you on the next one